Yo, I guess it's Beast, back with some more Beastly content. So today we're going to be doing another Nip Nip Farm, and this Nip Nip Farm is going to be not doing a double biodome, but a triple biodome farm. That is right, we are going to build biodomes that use three biodomes and are harvestable in one single button click and involve three biodomes. Now I'm sure some of you have tried stacking three on top and you know that doesn't normally harvest any more than two biodomes. However, with this new trick that I am going to be showing you here shortly once we build the main building for this base. As most know, my bases are powered off nip energy, but in a way, so besides the nip nip energy, here is a cuboid room. You're gonna wanna go ahead and set yourself up into what is gonna be free placement enabled. You then wanna go ahead and just place your first box. This box we are going to actually be turning upside down or in the example here I actually showed you how you can also make these things slanted. The main key is to make the two boxes that we're going to be placing down here. One being the first primary one which actually you might end up building two of on the bottom or two of on the top. It really does just depend on the design you choose here. Let me go ahead and explain how these work. So since we put one of the cubes upside down it's now going to be placing our biodome and our hallway in the same upside down position this will allow us to then take another cube and either stick it on bottom or on top depending on how we design this you can either do two of the normal sided biodomes on top with a upside down one on bottom or you can do two upside down ones with a normal one on top the way you're gonna get the normal one on top is very simple. You're gonna take another cuboid room here. We're gonna go ahead and just, well, we deleted these here, but as you can see here, we put them all back. So the very last biodome that we placed, leave a hallway there with that cuboid room connected. As you can see, this one is set up as an upside down one. So once again, cycle axis using L shift or whatever button it is, I think it's right stick on consoles. And you're gonna just wanna go ahead and rotate this thing so that they're pretty much parallel when it comes to this little blue slash red line going on here. These lines here are actually the indicators that are telling us that we are on the right track if you don't line this up perfectly while well, the farm will still work and it will still be a triple biodome the biodomes can look less than perfect i actually ended up doing a triple biodome setup that didn't involve a bunch of them being turned crooked like that we actually ended up just using normal straight up and down ones this was the test set originally i was just doing a double biodome double biodome with you know one side of it being upside down when i went to harvest the second from the bottom one i realized it was harvesting both any biodome underneath your biodome uh, and the biodome on top two biodomes can be facing in the same direction and the other one will have to be placed in reverse either on top or bottom of the two other normal facing biodomes you get me you see how it's going on we went ahead and deleted the top four biodomes from this thing we also will begin some of the grounds work of this base i'm not going to show you most of the building of this base i'm about to be showing you guys but i will tell you it is using this double biodome technology these little satellite beacons are meant to be harvesting the power from these farms all of the nip nip energy in these farms is being sent to the building next to the wooden landing pad setup i have going on here it's all gathered into there and transmitted to any other base that may be low on power at the time in case that base isn't generating its own nip nip energy itself and if it does then it's okay it is all sent to my point glyph base where its energy or where all of my nip nip energy overflow is held in giant silos so that's the story of the nip nip generator here guys that's the story of how it works as you can see all of them have these little dish in receptor antennas also when it comes to planning in these just go ahead and enter free cam mode while you have your nip nip out and snapping mode is enabled you will be able to instantly plant into those biodomes however what we are loading into now is going to be the first tour and harvest of this bad little base here this is 17 of these triple biodomes and you're done that's essentially under 30 seconds to harvest this entire baby if you don't mess up like i did which we will see in a second this is what the generator room looks like the nip nip gek lord recently went on an expedition this expedition caused him to lose his entire upper chest area and have to convert it over into being a cyborg but he learned of some new nip nip technology 
being these weird orange and purple looking shard things they actually are the perfect conduits for nip nip energy believe it or not guys so anyway enough with the fun enough with explaining my free power usage and feeling okay about it because i had to build nip nip generators here is the entrance and the beginning of this farm as you can see here this is what i was talking about about using two upside down ones on the bottom and one on the top allowing you to have this cool harvest mode only the first four are done like this the others will be a reversed option of this with two normal ones on top with one on bottom being flipped over it doesn't really matter which ones that you flipped over and which ones that's on top either two on top or one on top and one on bottom that's upside down or two on bottom that's upside down it doesn't really matter however that is the maximum uh, you will not be able to be harvesting any more than three triple biodomes, at least with the current setups that we've been trying. I have wondered how it would go if someone was to take one of these biodomes and then attach two sideways biodomes, kind of glitched into, I'd say glitched, but more like forced into it using snapping, because I don't think that's the same glitch trick everybody uses. I think using snapping to get stuff to go where you want it is a little bit of a different glitch, but it's also a more reliable glitch and a lot less, you know, pushing certain buttons to do it. But I mean, even in the time I took to explain to you or talk to you about this farm, it's almost already harvested, guys. We are almost at the end of the video here. Can you believe it? I do want to show you the outcome of it. The only reason why we're not done harvesting, if you didn't realize there was, I had actually gotten backtracked and started walking backwards in the portal system this is how my portal system is set up it's just a simple one two portal one takes you to the next dome one takes you to the previous dome and then the final one will take you back to the main generator room right next to our portal with our beautiful nip nip in inventory full exosuit starship got some in it and we got a whole 10 stack in our freighter i will also go ahead and take the time to mention that any storage container setup we have going on at this base is gone, but I am out, so you just keep it beast mode.